Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Yemen. Where we left off, we had just vassalized Hormuz, and we were preparing to take on Najd. We need to break our alliance with these guys, um, but I don't think we can do that yet. Although we can do it right now, so we're going to break our alliance with these guys. Uh, this will create a truce between us, and that should get rid of that over my relationship limit. I'm going to be um, annexing the Rashids as soon as possible, which will probably take many, many years. Because there is a lot of um, relationship to recover there. So, I can core this piece of land, and I will. Are these in the same area? No, they're in different areas, it seems. al Quazim and... Bahrain are different. Al Kazim is all this area. But I may take these for Al Kazim. I might take these two provinces off Najd. Part of me is tempted to vassalize them, but I think that would be pushing it a little bit too far. I do need to talk to Hormuz here and send them an improved relation to get them down below the um, unhappy level. Because you can see my vassals are... My vassals are starting to get pretty powerful. I don't think I really want to... I don't really want to push any more vassalage stuff for a while. Hormuz actually has an army, which is nice. What kind of... I, I didn't bankrupt them, which is quite nice too, actually. I think that was the right move here. Although they do have a horrific amount of bank loans, and I will not be paying off that debt. So let's go, uh, let's go take on these guys. I think they have a very tiny little army. How do you feel about me? Yeah, it looks like you're getting war declared again. What is Ajuran doing over here? Oh, you declared war on Marahan and Hadramut. Oh, he's actually coming for me. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll detach a little siege and I'll go hunt them down. Our truce with Medina has ended. We can now declare war on them without additional penalties. Uh, let's see. E ooh, 15 prestige here. That would put us up very, very close to the um, to the limit. Ooh, that's tempting. You're the prestige philosopher. Or the cash. Out of curiosity, if he's 50% cheaper to employ, would that save us money here? It would, so I'm going to switch him over. That'll save me half a duck at a month to switch over to this guy. And he's younger, so he's less likely to die. Uh, oh, we can form Arabia. Oh, so we need to take Ishkandaria, Kwaria. Uh, let's see. Dovar, Maka. So it looks like we need to take a lot of these provinces. Baghdad. I think Baghdad is more up here, right? Where is it? No, oh, that's not that one. Bag. Did I, did I click on the wrong one? I did. Yeah, Baghdad's up here. So we can we can form Arabia. That's an interesting one. We can also unify Islam and all these other things. We're gonna maybe try and try and do some of these. We'll have to kind of see. Ooh, that's good. If we get innovative ideas, we can reduce our idea cost even further than normal. Ooh, we might go for that next. If we go for aristocratic ideas and then innovative, the prestige decay would be really, really good too. Whoa, I saw an army over here. Did they sneak past me somehow? Okay, we should be able to take his capital. We have a mission available. Create a proper fleet. I'll do that. Yeah, their liberty desire is quite high, but we are improving relations with them. Yeah, you can have military access. I don't see where their army went, so we'll just hang out here near them. I might just full annex these guys. 
take all their provinces um, and see how that goes. Ooh, I think I actually prefer... Army professionalism is relatively easy to get, whereas loyalty could make a difference here, especially if I did a... if I called a diet. If I take the military power and call a diet, these guys will be extremely loyal and give me much cheaper armies for a long, long time. So I'm going to do that. That seems absolutely perfectly reasonable to me. Save me a bunch of cash. Okay, we now control that province. More military access, that's fine. I could even build buildings. I don't think I want to build buildings. I feel like I've built all the ones that I want to. Manpower buildings wouldn't be terrible, particularly in Sana for the 500 manpower here. Wouldn't be too terrible. I'm tempted, tempted by that. We'll see. 500 manpower is quite nice. Okay, his army's down here, interestingly. So we're just gonna stomp all over him. Now, I could make this guy a vassal, but I don't think I will. We we got a chain war, and it worked out really nicely for us. Let's pull this back here from Hofo, from uh, Hormuz, so that we can um, now sue for peace and... Pretty much, I want all of your provinces. Give me all of the monies. Now, let's have a look at the aggressive expansion. Okay, we'll take a bit of aggressive expansion. Oh, wait, hold a minute. We could vassalize them. I don't think we're going to vassalize them. I think we'll just take the, the, uh, the provinces here. So... This is all, like, again, we're, we're, this is all working out really well in my favor. I don't know if I'm doing, like, really well or if it's just turning out nicely. But we can core all this land. We can't core that one yet. There are some Najidi separatists. Which is interesting. We're going to head down there and see if we can take those on. We should be able to. There they go. We took them out. So let's slow down here while we address a few things. Hofuf has now considered a part of our patrimony. That was over here. Very nice. I won't be turning this into a state yet because I need to keep track of how many of those I can actually do. I don't remember where that is. I know it's in here somewhere. God, where is it? Number of states. Is it in here? No, but I, I'll be able to promote Hejazi maybe at some point. Um, Where's my number of provinces? I'm trying to remember. It's in one of these things. Ah, here it is. So we can have 12 states and we currently have four. So actually, I can probably take a few more and not be too hurt by it. Uh, wow. These, how are we still fighting this war? I'm tempted to bring my army over and see if we can make a difference. Although I did lose my leader, which makes this a bit more awkward. And, well, we have better cavalry now. I mean, could that be the difference maker? Overextension is causing some corruption in my, in my empire. I'm going to bring my army over and see if I can make a difference. Uh oh, let's stand here. Is this mountainous? It's coastal desert. Can we stand in the highlands here and maybe bait them in to attack us? Or maybe we wait until they try and siege that down. Anyway, we're across here and we've got to figure out how to fight there. Okay, I'll make Hafar my core. Because somehow I am connected to it now. Let's have a look. Wait, we have a tri oh, I keep getting attrition for enemies somewhere and I'm not sure where it's coming from. On some of my provinces just, just has it. Is it like a desert thing maybe? Hmm. So when they go and try to take this, I should be able to attack into here and get um get some bonuses. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot about the Najadi Separatists. We need to deal with that. If I control... There's the piece. Okay. So let's have a look. Adal will cede Asab to Ethiopia. Adal will pay ducats. Inflation, conquest, loses some of this. Ethiopia will gain. Okay, so they mostly lose. Wait, why did we... Oh, I think we're... Yas would hire my Condottiori. No, no, I'm okay. Yeah, this rebel uprising, I forgot to, um, I forgot to raise autonomy in these provinces, which was a mistake. Yes, you may have military access from me. Marahan separatists running around my territory. Okay. So, I feel like we've done a pretty good job here. We've got these guys on our sides pretty nicely. I think, I think what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go plank, plonk, plonk my army over here in Hafar whilst I uh, train them. Although the rebel uprising is so high now that maybe it's not the right time to do it. God, where do these guys come from? So Hormoz has a high liberty desire. And we need to... We need to talk to them and improve relations with them. I'm not going to designate, I'm trying not to designate any marshes because I do want to um, annex. There's quite a few, there's, there's a lot of years here that we have to uh, overcome. A lot of years of negative modifiers. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have my troops drill in Hofuf. Oh, I should raise over here as well. Because this is the Miklavi. Where's Bisha? It's here. Okay, that one's going to take a while. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to raise autonomy in here as well. Kind of need to manage these, these things because the Najd are about to rise up. Okay, at least we cut down the chance that that happens. There's still a high probability that it happens within a year. I'll drill my army in Hofuf because that'll um, reduce the Hormuzi chance of rebellion. The Miklaf rebellion chance is still pretty high. But it should come down as we bring down our overextension and we bring up our religious unity, which is hopefully still happening. Ooh, it's going to take a while. I guess we did really need that mysticism bonus. Maybe I made the wrong choice there. I thought I, I thought I wouldn't need it so much, but I guess I was wrong. What's our current religious unity? 80%. So we're taking a small national unrest tick there. Ah, we can purchase a splendor ability. I'm tempted to take the feudal de jure law here. It'll make a big difference to the chance that I have to go to war. Um, if we take a look at the simple terrain map mode, my capital is based in mountains. And there are a decent number of mountains around here. But I've already done all the fighting I'm really going to do in mountains right now. So I might be better off... I might be better off not taking the... Um, Plus one combat bonus in terrain of capital. Uh, maybe I would be better off taking, for example, war taxes being free. Uh, that, that would be an option. I think also the transfer subject. Claims bordering claims would be nice. Aggressive expansion. I think I'm going to take feudal de jure law here. Because that's going to do the most for my empire right now. It's going to erase a little bit of unrest.
Oh, that's a state edict. Can I do that here? Oh, it's an edict. Oh, I thought it was just minus five unrest everywhere. Oh, no wonder I thought that was super powerful. I'd never actually taken that one, so I only just realized that I was in a state edict. Ah, that makes my, my, way more sense. I probably would have taken an aggressive expansion then. But yeah, we have a we have a lot of cores for us to take back for Hormuz, and we have claims to press as well. For example, this little nation here. Uh, he does have some scary allies, but for example, Zufra. Ah, uh, this is Yas. Out of curiosity, could I declare war on these guys? Would you come back? Would the Timurids come? We'll let time tick over here as we uh, try to see. Okay, the Timurids would not come. And this is pretty clearly the best time ever to move. So we're going to go here. We're going to let our army build up. Because this is a lot of cores for our vassal. Um, I think I'm going to take this province off my off my vassal here before they become disloyal. If I siege Al Karatan. I want to be careful about making my vassals too big and too scary because they might try to declare independence. How many how many provinces could I take? I could probably take all three of these. Oh man, I'd probably want to take all of the Hormuz cores. Because the Timurids are at war, this is the best time I can do it. Um, The Ulema loses loyalty or the Ulema gains loyalty? I think I'm going to go towards legalism here. I, I guess I could go... I could go back towards mysticism and clear out some of this. I think I'm gonna go... I, I think I made a mistake. I think I need to push for mysticism here. And that'll bring my missionary strength up a bit. Or at least it should have. Yeah, there it is. So that'll bring that up quite a decent amount, which will speed this up a lot. And that'll be done in, 70, in four years. Okay, I think I'll make this into a state. Let's see, is there unrest in here? There is not unrest in here. Although I could do, I think I can do autonomy things. That'll bring the autonomy down in here that little bit quicker. So it's coming down about 1.55. So that actually speeds it up a decent amount. Is, do I have any high autonomy provinces over here, maybe? Uh, let's see, autonomy map mode. Yeah, mostly mostly just coming from the thingies. But this, this, prov this, this land over here needs to come down in terms of autonomy in order for it to actually make money for me. So we'll do that real quick. Now, we do also need to be worrying about these Najidi separatists. But that'll be fine. I want to get this war declared, though. And I want to get it started because it's a very, very vulnerable time for that war. Uh, I need to give the Emirs another province. Starting to demand provinces that I actually really like. Well, these are territorial cores. I think I need to upgrade them. Yeah, I think I'll give this province to the Emirs, maybe. 55. I'll pay the 55 for these as well. Let's see. What is the best province to give to the Emirs? Uh, it's probably this one here. That should bring the manpower I'm getting from that province up. Quite a chunk, because it's no longer affected by the autonomy. Whereas if you look here, these provinces give almost no thingy, but this one gives a decent amount. Liberty Desire is quite high in the Hormos, but we're, we're bringing it down over the years. 
These guys do have better Diplo tech than me, interestingly. Um, which is something to watch out for. I'm going to save up for the Limber. Out of curiosity, how is the institution coming? It should be pretty close to us here. Yep, it looks like the Mamluks are starting to adopt it, thanks to their nice capital. We have a quick peek here. The Renaissance, yeah, it's spreading slowly. The Ottomans are starting to get it too. Looks like the Byzantium already has it. So it shouldn't take more than, you know, it shouldn't take too long for it to get down to us. And we're kind of expanding towards it as well. You can see up here. So let's get this war declared. It's important that we get it going now. Uh, I want to take Zufra as my core. Oh, we're breaking a truce. How long is our truce? Ooh, I don't think we can break a truce. I'm going to go stand in Hafara then. We need this war. We need the Timurids to be just like war torn for as long as possible then. It's pretty much their only ally. Thankfully, these are claims and it'll take a long time for them to go away and we can press them later. Um, so we, we've got time to press those claims. I should have checked that truce thing. That kind of changes what we were going to plan on doing. So I can go up to a slightly higher speed here. Now, let me just double check. Why are we making so little money? Part of it is we're spending money on corruption because of the uh, overextension. The other part of it is... So... That should bring down how much we're spending on corruption a little bit. Uh, Alright, so it looks like we are making a little bit of money. Missionary maintenance is causing, causing, costing us a bit of cash. We can make another state. Income by about 27. Or 26.26 of a ducat. We let the Mont take over here. And there they are. We took them out. So this province can take the Autonomy Edict, I think. Monthly Autonomy Change, which will cost us a bit of money. And if we core this... But this... this is, we're basically spending money now to get all sorts of stuff later on. We won't be selling our Condottiori. Let's have a look at the... Um, oh, the Bishan Separatists rose up as well. Let's get our army moving down there. Uh, let's take a peek at the defenses we could build. I think I could use a castle here for my military... Yeah, I I only have one fully maintained fort, so I think more. Oh, faceting the gem cutting masters. Oh, they they got ten years of separatism. Damn. Oh, I forgot about that. That's actually really bad. I think we're gonna move towards legalism again because I want the this to go through faster. It was a mistake to move away from mysticism. So faceting gem cutting masters in Rouen have made a breakthrough in diamond cutting by experimenting with diamond dusts suspended in oil in this. The scafes, this is a Dao. Okay, I'm being called to war again. A Dao, hey, what, what's going on with you, man? Oh my god, Majoran. Got huge. <laughs> um, so they're trying to take you know, this province. So I'm going to accept this. They just have a royal marriage with Hadramut, and I do have claims on them. I'm going to build a spy network with these guys. Um, right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to take a moment here. I'm going, to, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to take a moment to think about what our plan is, and then... Uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.